Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to install uh, a 960 grid into a uh, WordPress template. Uh, right now I'm working with a bare bones uh, template from Starkers. Uh, it's called the Starkers theme, which is a bare bones WordPress template that I had installed uh, in actually one of, in my other tutorial. And so this is what we ended up with. This is actually a WordPress install. Uh, it's a fresh install with the Starkers theme. And uh, as you can see here, uh, there's no CSS or HTML, and I want to implement the 960 grid system. If you go to 960grid.com, uh, if you're not sure what that is, it's a great uh, kind of a, temp, a rubric, a CSS rubric that helps you uh, create quick and easy uh, CSS, and it also helps in template making and Photoshop. helps for a lot of things, but it is a great, great uh, system, and so I'm going to show you how to install right now. So uh, I have this grid, where did I put it? Excuse me one second. Um, oh yeah, here it is, 960 grid. Uh, so the code, CSS, these temp, uh, this is what you get when you download the 960 grid system, you get templates. You can uh, open it in Photoshop and it'll have this grid. And then if you build your uh, theme in Photoshop on this grid, you can then um, kind of use the code and match it up and just really quickly make your PSD into HTML. But right now we're going to implement it straight into WordPress so we can even skip that step from PSD to HTML and then HTML to WordPress. We can just go from PSD straight to WordPress. Uh, I do this and it saves me a ridiculous amount of time. So uh, we just take, I like the 12 column one, so we'll take the 12 column one, we'll throw it into the CSS here. And this particular theme we have to add uh, a, uh, what is the name of that? 960.com.css. So we save that. Okay, so now our CSS grid is, uh, 960 grid is being uploaded uh, onto the server and in, in our theme. Now we just need to implement it really quick into our theme. And then it'll, uh, what will happen is uh, this will be centered and then our grid will be able to use it uh, functionally on the site. So we we'll just go to header. Um, and in the body, we'll do the container 12. And so we'll open it there. We'll go to the footer and we'll close it. And then we'll also do uh, the grid for the top. And then we'll do the grid for the footer as well. You're not really going to be able to see this grid yet without any colors. But even if we go see the, uh, the footer here, so I'll use that for the footer and then I'll even put a header here, just so you can see the colors um, for this. So now I'll just go into my uh, CSS, and I'll do a header. Footer, height, header, pixels, uh -oh, and then I'll do a body. And height uh, pixels, height uh, pixels, and background. Just so you can see how this works, how effective and easy it is to use. Oh, did I? So here's the header, close it here, oh, you know, let me make it a light gray so, so we can see any text in there. Um, and then the footer, maybe we'll put uh, some test content. that in the 
header as well. Yeah, so you see test content in the footer. Oh, that's why. I apologize because the footer is hidden. So we'll unhide it. And there it is. So, and then this home here, let's now, if this is this home is on the page template. So now even if we go into uh, the page here, and we'll throw this into a grid. So we'll throw this into a grid so that this all lines up as well. We'll even we'll do this grid nine, and then we'll throw the sidebar to a grid as well. All you got to do is add up to equal 12. So that's in there. So, oh, and then even if we did a page content, right, and we threw all that, and then went to layout, page content, margin, 20, 0, 20, so the top and bottom margins are 20 pixels, and then the height is 500 pixels. So go back here, and now you see that this is just coming together very quickly, and you see how easy this, this templating system is to use, and so our sidebar is over here, so even if I add something to the sidebar, uh, yeah, when you get to the back end here, And I'll go to, oh, I'll go to widgets, and I'll add um, like a search bar. Hold the search, search, and save that. Oh, you know what? Why is that not working? sure what's up with that, but maybe if I, uh, oh, you know what, because I don't think there's any content inside of, uh, title content and while, grid. oh, that's why. Cause I gotta end that first. Okay, I apologize. Or even that, that's fine. You don't need this, but I always add that to all themes just so I can have a quick way to do that. And there we go, beautiful. So there's the 20 margin on the top. This is the grid three, grid nine. And so you can see how in Photoshop, if you build it out according to that template grid, you th and then you come right in here, I mean, it's just so easy to make that transition. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you have any questions, feel free to comment, and I'll get back to you. Thank you.